So you're using Wix and you want to try and upsell people within the cart and the mini cart. Welcome back to the Wix Wiz. I'm Eitan. And in this series, we're going to be talking about just that. In this first video, we are going to be exploring our no code options for upselling uh, customers in the cart and mini cart, kind of like this. Uh, so you can see here that we're offering an additional product here on the side in the mini cart. And if we go to the cart itself, then we have this uh, widget here with recommendations for related products. So we'll be discussing how to add those things in. Uh, so if you want to learn about all that and more, let's get started. For today's tutorial, I am inside of Wix Classic. And what I've done is I've selected one of the pre-made store templates. So this already has Wix stores installed. Uh, as you can see, kind of we have the cart button up here on the upper right. And in terms of the products, I switched out the default products for some, you know, custom apparel products just to make this a little more interesting and also so that we have a few different categories and product names and stuff like that. So that's uh, here in terms of setup, except for that I haven't really touched anything on the site. Uh, even though we are in Wix Classic, everything I'm demonstrating here should be possible inside of Wix Studio as well, uh, possibly with some slight design changes, but overall, uh, should be possible. Today, what we're going to try and do is to implement uh, upselling uh, for our products via the cart. Uh, and we're going to try and do this in two places. Uh, the place that we're going to start initially is the cart page. So to get to the cart page, uh, we're going to go over here to pages and menu. And you'll see here uh, on the left side, you have store pages. These are all the pages that are related to the Wix stores app. Uh, that will automatically be added to your site when you add the app to your site. And here you can see that one of the pages is a cart page. So if we go over here to this cart page, uh, you'll see initially that it has kind of like an empty widget here. And it says the cart is empty. And that's because we're in the editor and we haven't technically added anything to cart yet. But once we do, those items are going to appear here in the cart. And what we want to do is we want to try and upsell uh, people on some additional products so that while they're on the cart page, they will possibly see something else that they like. Uh, ideally, that goes kind of well with what they've already have in their cart, and they'll add it to their cart as well. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another section here on top of the existing cart. So you see the, the cart widget got kind of pushed down over here. And I'm gonna make this section a little smaller. And since we're in the no code stage of this series, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the pre provided Wix elements in order to display related products. So if we go over here to add elements on the upper left, and this is a bit confusing because it's not inside of those store pages that we saw before, but rather it's separate elements that are inside of the store section here of the elements menu. And you can see here that we have a few uh, different elements that are kind of standalone elements that aren't automatically installed with the Wix store app, but we can choose to add them to our site. Okay, and one of them here is uh, called related products. Another one is the slider product gallery. Uh, you could actually technically use both. Let me uh, drag in the slider product gallery to show you what that is going to look like. So I'm just going to put that right over here. And it takes a second to add in. And there we go. So now we have this uh, slider gallery and you can see that it is showing uh, some products related, uh, not not yet related, it's just showing some products from our Wix store. And if we go ahead into our settings, uh, so if we go over here to settings on this widget itself, so we can decide which products we want to display here. Uh, and the options are a specific category, best sellers or related products. And you can really decide what works best for your business in terms of what you're trying to upsell. Um, I think that related products uh, make sense. And you can also once you select related products, you can also decide kind of what logic you want the or what algorithm you want the related products to be based on. So is it products from uh, the same categories or products that are frequently bought together? And this is all something that Wix calculates and does for you behind the scenes. So you don't need to think about it too much. 
I'm going to leave it at from the same category because I think it'll be a little hard to demonstrate the other two on a site that doesn't actually have a lot of user interaction. Uh, but you can again choose whichever one uh, works best for you. Uh, and it's important to just read this little note in case you were thinking of using this widget somewhere else, that this widget really works best when it's on a product page, cart page, or a thank you page. Okay, those are also other places that you can implement this same kind of upsell. So you can do the same thing that I'm showing you now and add this widget to like the thank you page, which is also over here inside of the stores pages menu. So here you have the thank you page. So you could do the same thing that we're doing here on the cart page in the thank you page or even on a product page. And uh, Wix, I'm assuming, uh, it's not written explicitly, but Wix based on the page that they're on and based on, let's say, the products that you have in the cart or the product they just purchased will populate the related items accordingly. So let's let's really see how this uh, pans out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and publish my site and then head to the live site to add some items to cart and see how this related products widget looks on my live site. Here I am on the live site. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of these uh, shirts to my cart. So I'm gonna go ahead and add to cart. And we have three different types of shirts in the shirts category or tops category. Um, so let's go ahead now and view the cart. And let's see what Wix uh, decided to put here. So we can see here that in, in terms of the related products, we have the two shirts being displayed first because they are related to the product that's currently in my cart. And then after that, Wix has just added in some additional products, which are not necessarily as related or they don't follow the same related logic. Uh, but just not to leave this opportunity empty, Wix has gone ahead and added in some products. And you'll notice that it also uh, intelligently did not add in the product that I already have in my cart. So even though the cart, the item in my cart is a shirt, uh, it isn't included here in the related products because that would be a little nonsensical. You can't really upsell somebody on something they already bought unless you're trying to get them to buy more, but that is not so realistic. Um, so that's really how to implement this related products widget in a very simple manner. You can go ahead and play around with the different settings, uh, which can let you customize this a little more to your site. Uh, you can move it under the card if you prefer. Uh, you can change the design slightly, but you're still somewhat limited to within what Wix provides. Um, so that's how to do a basic upsell here inside of the cart page itself. And now let's explore and see what kind of upsell we can do with no code inside of our side cart. The side cart is this little pop up that opens up when you add items to cart. Uh, over here on the side, you saw it before when I was on the live site. And to access that from the editor, uh, you can go over here and go to side cart. This is actually a rather new feature within Wix. They used to have something else, which was called the mini cart, which wasn't really as accessible as this is. So here now we really have access to the side cart in the editor. And you can see here that just like our main cart, there's kind of a widget here where the actual uh, items are displayed. But this is kind of sitting inside of a pop up or a light box. And we have some flexibility and we can kind of add stuff in over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make my mini cart kind of a lot wider. And I'm going to move, uh, sorry, not the widget itself, but I want to kind of make the pop up underneath. Okay, so here you can see we have the widget, I hope you can see that I'm selecting two different things here. Uh, we have the widget and the pop up. So I want to make the pop up the light box much bigger so that we have room here to add more things on the side. And here we get to a point where, unfortunately, Wix doesn't support adding the same widget that we just saw before to the mini cart. Uh, it's some kind of built in limitation. Uh, but there is one no code element which I managed to add into the mini cart. And that was this product widget over here. Um, so if you go ahead, you can go ahead and drag this product widget and add it here to this light box right over there. And then here you can uh, select kind of which product you want to display here. Uh, sorry, not through that button, but through the settings button right over here. And once we go ahead and click that so we can uh, connect this widget to 
you know, a specific item and we can pick the item from the list. So let's say slim fit jeans. And then if we go ahead and we, uh, we could also as a setting, uh, we can also determine what button will be shown here. So if we go over here, instead, uh, when, when button is clicked, we could say instead of go to product page, just add product to cart, which I think is a slightly more user friendly option for something that's already in the mini cart, like they're already in the mini cart, I don't think they want to go to the product page from the mini cart, they just want to add it to cart, or at least you just want them to add it to cart and go straight to checkout. Uh, so that's, uh, that's what we have over there. And then if we go ahead and publish this, uh, when I head over to the live site, you'll see that we now have this inside of our mini cart. So uh, let's go right over here. And I'm just going to give this uh, a hard refresh, uh, just to make sure that our updates are all there. And uh, let me go back to our home page and add a new item to cart. So let's go over here and let's just add in, let's say this uh, blouse right over here. I'm going to go ahead and add that to cart and let's wait for that mini cart to open up. So now you can see that inside of my mini cart next to the actual items, I also have these slim fit jeans. You could also kind of add text on top and say, Oh, recommend it to you or people often buy this or something like that. And then you can just go ahead and click add to cart here and it will be added in directly to their mini cart. Uh, this has some downsides. Um, the fact that this is not really dynamic, so it's not based off of recommendations. It's not based off some kind of algorithm. It's just one single, or you can add in a few of those widgets. So you could display several products, but it would always be static. It would always be the same products. And you can see also that the product uh, is still displaying, even though I've already added it to my mini cart. So it's not ideal, um, but it is no code. So if you don't want to start playing around with code, uh, then this is somewhat of a solution. This is something that you can try out. Um, I just will note before we wrap up that uh, don't forget to take a look also at the mobile view, uh, both for the mini cart. Uh, for the for the mini cart here uh, in mobile view, it kind of puts the widget underneath, uh, which I think kind of makes sense. Uh, and in terms of uh, the cart page itself, you'll also just want to check out the mobile view and make sure that everything uh, looks good there. You could also choose to not display some of these things on the mobile view and just display it on desktop. That's really up to you. Uh, and with that, I'm going to wrap up uh, the no code part of this series. So in the next few videos, we're going to discuss some ways that we can customize the uh, related products or recommendations experience using code, which will also further let us customize especially the experience within the mini cart where we are limited, but also the experience of related products in general so that we can have full control both over the data, the products that are displayed and also the design. Um, so if you don't want to miss out on that, I highly recommend hitting that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or, or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. Uh, and don't forget to give a little thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and found it useful. I'll see you next time.